Africa is the fastest growing mobile technology market in the world. A survey by the group Special Mobile Association shows that the continent will be home to nearly 740 million devices by the end of this year. To tap into the vibrant market, African inventors are making moves to grab a slice of the fiercely competitive computer tablet market. Across Africa, companies are hoping to break into the competitive market by targeting a group of consumers they say are not being catered for by established international brands. In the last six months, entrepreneurs and technology innovators in Africa have been busy crafting ideas that have the potential to change the continent's technology landscape. Africa now boasts its own assortment of tablets. South Africa has its Touch 7, Ghana, the k -Pad, and Congo with the C-Way. All of these tablets are touch screens and have the basic tablet technology, email, web browser, and book reader, but they sell at a cheaper price of 245 US dollars. Despite the significant difference in cost, not everyone believes that regional and lesser known versions of the device will survive. South African-based technology commentator Duncan McClude says the landscape is too competitive with little space available to no-name brands. In fact, I would imagine the vast majority of these smaller tablet manufacturers aren't, aren't going to survive in the long term. You know, the tablet computer market was, is, is do was and still is dominated by Apple with more than 70% market share worldwide. All the other manufacturers, um, and many of them are going for the low-end, cheap uh, tablet options uh, to try and attract the mass market, are all based on the Android operating system from Google. And there are hundreds of them out there. The manufacturing of the African-developed tablets are outsourced to China in a bid to keep costs down. The respective countries of the computer tablet do not yet have the capacity to produce the products at home. Officials are concerned that the outsourcing is also creating a loophole for the infiltration of counterfeit devices into African countries. In South Africa, the Independent Communications Authority of South Africa has warned that it will penalize those who import communications products into the country illegally. There are a number of punitive measures. You know, somebody can be fined from between 250,000 to a million, depending on the type of, 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 of the equipment and whether it's going. Sometimes you find that the equipment has a sticker, but it's not type approved. You know, those are some of the things that we look at. You know, if it's got a stick, it's not type approved, there might be a fine for it. If it's, it doesn't have anything, there might be a fine up, uh, up to a million rand uh, for, for that particular uh, contravention. In West Africa, Ghanaian entrepreneur Kofi Klujeson, the founder and executive chairman of Aka Sanoma Industries, is also eager to stake his claim in the computer tablet arena. He recently launched an Android Windows tablet under the brand name K-Pad. So what we've done, uh, with this project is trying to be able to enhance, you know, the existence of tablets, you know, you know. Now, our tablet has other facilities like USB ports, it has HDMI ports, and it allows us to be able to, you know, do local, you know, applications. K-pads range in size from 7 to 10 inches, and a contract runs about $43 a month, or slightly more than $1,500 for a three-year contract. The company hopes a lower monthly pay scheme will render the tablets more affordable.